Hello Pisces. This is your ex reading for the 14th through the 20th. This is Pisces for Pisces. X for Pisces. I'm a rising Venus and Jupiter signs. I'm tired, guys. Please excuse me. This is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Pisces. What's going on with my Pisces? Hmm. Four of Wands. Feeling happy, feeling content, maybe. Knowing the truth surrounding the situation, feeling victorious. Feeling confident. I like it, I like it, I like it. Knowing that your happiness only lies within you, with no one else here. As I was putting that deck down, I saw the um, Herman under the bottom. This is you guys looking for your path, figuring out what's right for you, who is right for you even here, okay? You hold the power. Strongly what I'm getting. Let's see. What's going on with Pisces X? What's going on with Pisces X? Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. Feeling hurt, rejected, abandoned. Um, feeling like, you know, they had no other choice but to go on after feeling hurt. Because maybe they left you out in the cold first. Okay. Maybe they left you, um, you know, financially in a bind. And um, you guys are kind of getting on your feet now. Maybe they want to come back because they see you kind of, you know, you're getting up, you're moving on. And you're like, oh, nope. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see how you perceive your ex. How do you perceive your ex? That card just fell out there. Look at that. <laughs> Looking for their path looking for you I, I'm getting strongly this person is looking for you um, Virgo is here very strong for you guys maybe a Gemini maybe even a Taurus but Virgo I feel is very strong in your reading um, I think this person is definitely looking for you I think they um, they they're just figuring out just how important you guys are to them okay um, I think they're kind of in recluse and I feel that, um, hmm. you know, right now this person is really hurting because something, some reality is hitting them hard during this time. The reality of this situation is hitting them hard is what I'm getting here. How does Pisces X perceive Pisces? How does Pisces X perceive Pisces? Yeah, broken hearted. Um, both of you guys are hurt though. But but what I'm getting here is that this person, um, they started all of this mess is what I'm hearing you guys right now. Some of you saying they started this. They did this. Why are they hurt? They're hurt because after you have been hurt, you are picking yourself up and you're no longer allowing them to hurt you anymore. Okay? But I don't get that they want to hurt you more. I get that they realize what they have done and realize just how important you guys are. But you don't believe them now. You don't believe them now. You don't believe a word that they say. Um, you don't believe in what they will actually do towards you. Um, you don't have any faith that they can be faithful, that they'll be there for you through thick and thin, through the ins and outs. You know, you just don't have the belief in the relationship that you used to have is what I'm getting from you guys. Okay. Pisces feelings about getting back together. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, no, it's toxic. The situation, uh -uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't I don't want to associate with that anymore. I've had enough. Pisces feelings about getting back together. Hmm. You've learned something. 
And I think you guys are, are done investing your time here. You're wanting to invest your time and your energy elsewhere. Okay? They're looking for you. You're looking somewhere else. I want to start over. I want to do something new. I want to do what's best for me. Okay? Look at that. This is what you guys are deciding here with judgment under there. Could be a Scorpio individual as well. Okay. <clears throat> Pisces X feelings about getting back together. Pisces X feelings about getting back together. Hmm. Definitely. I feel like this person um, really wants to to end whatever it is here that you know was a disappointment, a source of disappointment and hurt for the both of you. They want to move forward with you. They want this cycle of pain to end here. They want to move forward with you. They see success with you. Hmm. Okay. They want this to end. Whatever has hurt you guys, see the Ten of Swords there? They want this to end. Whatever whatever hurt feelings you guys have had, have shared, um, you know, nasty words have been spoken, um, maybe, you know, somebody disrespecting you even, whatever this is, cheating on you, they, they want to... I feel compromise and um, you know you guys come to an agreement and and let go of some of that stuff so you guys can start over it's what I'm getting here <clears throat> how can Pisces help to reconcile here how can Pisces help to reconcile if you guys even want to reconcile let's see how can Pisces help this reconciliation. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Say what's on your mind. See the truth in the matter. Okay. Unchain yourself. Unchain yourself from whatever has been holding you back. Speak your truth. I don't know if you want to though. That's the thing. With this Ace of Swords here, this is like, you know, being victorious due to, you know, gaining the knowledge that you're seeking. So, and I see you doing that. I see you going forward though. And I see this person at your back um, following you. But I, I see you steady moving. And instead of moving forward, learning new things, learning where to invest your time, um, you definitely will be victorious and unchain yourself. Um, will you guys get back together? Remains to be seen here. Let's see. How can your ex increase the chances of you guys getting back together? Four coins. Investing their time. Investing their time. I feel like they need to make um, a genuine offer here to you guys. They need to put more time and energy into this situation. And they need to really like be open. Be open and honest is what I'm getting here with you. Be open and honest. Okay. Let's see. But I feel like it's up to you guys whether or not you say yes or no. I don't feel like, I feel like this person, you know, the only thing they can really do is open up, like I said, and be honest about their feelings, about what it is they want to do, about what it is that they have done, you know, that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, it's up to you guys, you know, whether or not you allow this to happen. <clears throat> the potential outcome here for Pisces and their ex. Potential outcome for Pisces and their ex. The Queen of Cups. Hmm. 
there's definitely still love here between the two of you guys. Um, and I'm getting that, you know, you will use your intuition as far as um, this situation is concerned. I think that if you really feel like you, your time is up here, then you will handle this situation with integrity. Um, you know, you, you, I feel like you guys will have the compassion that you need and, you know, to handle this situation with integrity is what I'm getting from this. I feel like you guys love this person unconditionally, but I think you're willing to move on, honestly, and carry your own cup forward, okay? I don't think you'll be nasty. I don't think you'll be mean. I don't think you will be um, uh, spiteful or anything like that. And I think you still love this person. But I think at the end of the day, you're going to do what's right for you. It's just what I'm getting from this. And steady moving forward is what I see. Forward progression. All right, guys. So we have Cancer. Um, we have Capricorn energy. We have... Any air energy here. I feel strong. Gemini is here. Virgo's here. Um, maybe Aquarius, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Charis energy. And I will be speaking with you soon.